Hey guys, I got here a 2001, it's a Monte Carlo SS uh, V6 and the ABS light is on and the track service traction soon light is on. So what that means is the ABS sensors are bad. Well, the problem with these and uh, Palas and Malibus I believe as well is that this is the old one. So the ABS sensor is right here and it's built into the wheel hub. Um, there's lots of vehicles out there that have the ABS sensor that uh, it pretty much like screws in right here to sense uh, wheel speed and it's only held in by one screw and you can change it in about five minutes. Well this one has an internal sensor and the only way to fix it is to change these hubs. But uh, mainly what this video is about is to kind of teach everybody a lesson. Uh, about a year ago, this customer put in uh, this hub right here on both sides. They were brand new and bought off eBay. I think they were, I think she said they're like 60 bucks for the pair because the original ones were bad. So bought these off eBay, 60 bucks a pair, um, installed them about a year ago, and they're bad already. So now I'm doing it again for them. And uh, the lesson is don't go cheap on these things. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half just to change the other side because down in here's one screw here, there's a screw here, there's three, three screws all together that hold the hub on. And you got to turn the wheel a little bit uh, left and right to get in there to get the screws. But um, there's really only one special tool needed. Uh, to change these and that's this it's a 34 millimeter uh, socket and that's to get this nut off the axle everything else um, I'm doing with just basically you know uh, extension and uh, sockets so this one's not too bad there's the other ones I've done where you gotta have special tools to get these out but the only good thing about this there's no special tools needed other than that axle nut um, and if you are buying um, these new hubs, these are the ones I got for her because I'm not going to install anything else other than than these. They were uh, $187 I think at a local parts store, uh, but I found them on eBay. eBay has a lot of good stuff and a lot of cheap stuff, but I did find these on eBay for uh, 80 bucks a piece. So I actually got two for the price of one for what the auto parts guy wanted. This is what it looks like before you put it in. It's made so much better than them uh, cheap Taiwan, uh, Chinese, who knows where they're made, uh, hubs. Like I said, they only lasted a year. Customer thought they were saving money. Uh, it's actually costing them twice as much because they got to do this again. But it's not that bad of a job. All you need is that axle nut uh, socket. And like I said, this, uh, this screw right here, it's kind of a triangle pattern. It's one here, one on the other side, and one right here. And what you want to do before you even try, try taking those off, you take this axle nut off, and then tap the end of uh, your axle with like a rubber hammer, and that will loosen it up. And then you can kind of slide this in and out. And when this comes out, as you can see, you'll have a lot more room to take those nuts out. Um, so that's pretty much the procedure. Once you get the wheels and the brakes off, um, I mean, that's the easy part. So hopefully uh, you guys don't make the same mistake this customer did and have to do this twice. Uh, buy good parts once and be done with it. So thanks for watching.